get by. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a peach if you find the same right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. InspiredInsider.com, where I interview top entrepreneurs and founders. We're here at IRCE in Chicago. We have Elliot, and he is founder, co-founder, right, at Price Falls. Um, so like, where do you hail from? Where are you based out of? Price Falls is based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, where are you from? Originally Connecticut, then Connecticut. I moved to South Florida, went to college in Maine, where we started Price Falls in 2009. And since relocated to Las Vegas. So I hear there's a really interesting story about how this got started. Sure. Um, I was in college learning about um, different pricing models through a game theory class. And Where were you? Where did you go to school? It was Bates College up in Lewiston, Maine. Okay. And we learned of the Dutch auction, which is a descending price auction, which got us into the market. We recognized... And this is 2009. So this is early on. Yeah, so yeah. it was... Um, in 2009, there was this great resurgence of new pricing models and marketplaces to compete with Amazon and eBay. We decided that we wanted to enter the space with a unique value proposition to retailers. On Amazon and eBay, you get a sale. On price falls, you get a customer. Yeah. We are the only marketplace that is sharing the customer marketing rights wow. with the retailer of the item. And that has really allowed us to grow exponentially over the course of the past two years. And that's a big decision because, right, all these big companies are doing the opposite. So what was that decision to, you know, how would you guys make come to that decision? Over the course of the first three years we were in business, we were really looking to gain as much feedback from the retailers that we were working with as possible. Yeah. And that was what we heard over and over and over again. Amazon, eBay, they're driving me sales, but they're taking a huge commission and they're not allowing me to develop a meaningful relationship with my customer. Price Falls said, okay, that's a problem. Yeah. We would like to take a different stance. Rather than being so protective of the customer and not sharing anything with the retailer, we are sharing everything, and that is enabling the retailer and the customer to develop a really meaningful, long-lasting relationship with each other. So, you know, where do you get your inspiration, you know, and what's your influence early on to, you're going up against giants like eBay and Amazon, right? So, where do you get, yeah, where do you get that? My father's a serial entrepreneur. He's been enormously successful in a variety of industries. Yeah. He has instilled a tremendous worth ethic in me and many others that we work with. He has really been our chief supporter thus far. Um, we obviously now have a variety of venture groups working with us and many shareholders, um, but he was the original influence yeah. to get us off the ground. What, so what's one of those big lessons that you think back on that he taught you, that you, you saw from his entrepreneur days? The importance of building upon small advantages and taking very deliberate steps towards an end goal that makes sense from a mathematical perspective. So what are some big mistakes you see e-commerce founders making? Um, I think that people are overspending in the false hope of recurrence. They believe that they can spend $5, get $1 on the first transaction, and they're going to make the additional 5 to be profitable on future transactions. I think that's a big mistake. Yeah. Price Falls wants to market in a first transaction ROI environment where we are making money on every single sale um, that we make. Sellers love hearing that, <laughs> right? So what about um, when you're talking among your uh, inner circle, e-commerce friends, What's some things that get, get discussed about how people can boost sales? Pricing. I think that dynamic pricing models and understanding how to optimize your price for profitability is key. That's one thing that Price Falls is doing heavily. We're really looking at customer trends and tendencies in order to determine what the most competitive and optimal price to drive that profit is. Yeah. So, Elliot, what, tell me about one of your biggest success stories. I'm sure you have a lot of them. What's uh, the most interesting one that comes out? Um, we're working very closely with Swiss Watch International now. They're doing a tremendous amount of business with us. They're a very large 
um, international wash provider, and we're extremely happy to have them on board. So what should we leave people with? What's a big lesson they should take away from your journey? Your customer base is everything. Understanding who your customers are and having a means to connect with them in the future is really your key to success. When you're working on marketplaces, make sure that you are understanding of the fact that marketplaces like Pricefalls will allow you to build your customer base. Marketplaces like Amazon and eBay actually cannibalize your user base. Yeah. What's the toughest part about the journey? Because what you're doing is not easy. You know, long days, long nights. What's the toughest part? about competing against eBay, Amazon, and being in this space? Brand recognition is a important factor for every company. While you're competing against huge players like Amazon and eBay, um, we are constantly working at learning new ways to get the price falls name into the minds and hearts of right. the retailers. Right. So that's really been our, our toughest um, goal th yeah. thus far. Proudest moment so far for Price Falls? Price Falls closed its Series A in late 2014, and we've since um, effectively tripled our business. Wow. Congratulations. We're here at IRC in Chicago with Price Falls. Thank you so much. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, nice like a beach if you find the sand. Right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.